hi there. I'm just sitting here reading my Bible. You know, there's a lot of interesting stories in here about a lot of interesting characters. Today, Miss Elaine is going to talk about one of those characters in the Bible, Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah, he was a prophet. That's somebody who brings messages from God. Now, sometimes people like those messages that the prophet brings, like when they say that God is going to smite their enemies for them. But other times, they don't like what God has to say to them so much. And that's what happened in today's story. Here's what Jeremiah told the people in the town that he was in, a message from God. This is what the Lord says. Whoever stays in this city will die by the sword, famine, or plague. But whoever goes over to the Babylonians will live. They will escape with their lives, and they will live. And this is what else the Lord says. This city will certainly be given into the hands of the army of the king of Babylon, who will capture it. And guess what? They didn't like that message too much. Hey, man, what do you think about Jeremiah, that new guy in town, and all that stuff he said? I reckon I don't care for it too much. Yeah, me neither. So the people took Jeremiah and they threw him into a really deep well. Uh-oh. And Jeremiah fell into that well and sunk deep into the mud. It sure is dark in here. I hope someone comes and gets me out sooner. I'll die. But that's where this story gets really interesting. There was a man from town, an official in the royal palace, named Ebed Melech. His friends called him Eb. Hi, I'm Eb. And Eb showed Jeremiah compassion. He went to the king and he said, King, I don't think they're treating the prophet Jeremiah very well. I mean, he's only passing on messages from God, you know. The king told Eb to gather 30 men to lift Jeremiah out of that well. Come on, guys. Let's get Jeremiah out of that well. So they took some rags and ropes and lowered them down into the well and pulled Jeremiah out. I know Jeremiah sure was glad when he saw the sunlight again. And I know he appreciated his newfound friend, Eb, who took compassion on Jeremiah even though he didn't know him that well. Eb's my new friend. You're welcome, Jeremiah. Jeremiah went on to bring us many important messages from God that we still read about today and apply to our lives. This is just another story from the Bible of how one person's compassion for another person changes the world and makes it a better place. I look forward to hearing what Miss Elaine has to say today about our friend Jeremiah.